the story of the Navigaton writer who inspires many sailors to sail around the world, Bernard Moitessier, on its long way. 68, the Sunday Times organized a major sailing challenge, the solo non-stop circumnavigation rounding the three great capes. Winner gets the Golden Globe Challenge trophy and a 5,000 pounds prize. Bernard Moitessier, writer and experiment and sailor adventurer of the South Seas, decide to participate. With his new boat, he called up for thanks to the royalties of his book Sailing to the Reefs. So his new boat is named in the honor of uh, George Chirac Slocum, a North American sailor who sailed the first time around the world solo with a boat called Spray. Made of a metal hull, Joshua is built by metal shipyards in France in 1162, except the mast, which are in wood and are in fact two electric poles. A large mast at the front and a smaller one at the back, it's a catch with a kind of eye design at the front. Bernard will paint it in bright red color and write the name between the two cabins to identify it from the distance with binoculars. The rest starts in England, then past the half captain, the Indian Ocean, Cap Ewin, the Horn on the dangerous icebergs, and a return to the starting turn of Plymouth. Follower of DIY does not get a radio. I will communicate thanks to his slingshot loaded with messages he sends on the deck of the boat that he crosses. He also uses a maritime code MIK so that the boat that cross it when the insurance company Lloyds in London is offered a portable video camera so that he can film his journey and his encounters. Watersier will push his boat to the maximum with Spinnaker, studying sail and stay sail to reach 7 knots. We'll go through the doldrums, random zone of calm or winds, put reefs in the sail when the winds are too strong, takes huge sea loads in the face, calculate his position using the stars and practices yoga and meditation to pass the time and helps him to calm down his ulcer. During periods of first calm in the Indian Ocean, he feeds the birds on a sea like an oil mirror. He writes his travel the long way and since all departure, he pushes his boat to the best of his ability thanks to the automatic rudder and reefs the mainsail. When he passes Cape Horn, he is at the head of the race but the closer he gets, the less he wants to win and prefers to keep his freedom. Rather than rejoin the consumer society that oppresses him, a part of himself tells him to win this race, but he finally refuses and decides to continue on his own way. He is happy at sea and continues to save his soul. He passes Good Hope Cape, Kelgain, Cap Ewin, Cap Save several times and finally decide to steer to the north towards Tahiti. After 303 days spent at sea, he breaks the record of 37,455 miles solo. There he finishes manuscript, then sends it to his publisher, telling him that he waives copyright to keep a good conscience. And that closes Bernard Moitessi a long way, which I have just to illustrate with his mythical boat Joshua, which you can see in La Rochelle, and was the mystical friend continue to haunt sailors, I continue to save my soul. Yeah.